Good day, mateys. <laughs> Captain James here. <laughs> we were coming out for a run in the Lee Valley, but I came to the Lee Valley Boat Hire Centre and it wasn't very busy, so we got a boat. <laughs> so now we're uh, sailing instead of uh, running <laughs> and riding. I'm not very good at keeping it in a straight line, am I? Anyway. He's a very bad boat driver. to a recreational runner. Today I'm doing a very easy pace run because I'm doing it on a river in a boat. And I forgot to start the Garmin. I haven't got a Garmin at all. Oh well. It's been an easy week this week. <laughs> on their bikes compared to us. Are we having fun, Evie? Yeah. Is this more relaxing than riding and running? Yeah. <laughs> We've got geese following us. Evie's driving Drive. very badly. <laughs> Worse than daddy. <laughs> No, you're doing alright. You're doing very well, darling. Just don't go into them boats. Ah! Don't get, don't panic, don't panic. When you panic, I panic. Don't panic, Mr. Dad! Me. Daddy, move the camera out my face. You can look anywhere, you don't have to look straight ahead. <laughs> it's a boat. <laughs> da -da -da. He asked me when he put it on, can you breathe? And he said, and I said yes, and he said, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> he was funny. Yeah, Anna. Why? Oh, hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hey, welcome back. Now we are running. Well, that's a lie already. I'm walking, aren't I? Evie's off over there. But managed to convince Evie to at least go for an hour, whether we're going to walk or run, um, after we got off the boat, because it's only half past two ish, three o'clock. So if we do an hour out and about, back, we're in Broxbourne, Broxbourne Riverside. Pardon? I got that on camera. I got that on camera. <laughs> Evie was trying to tell me something, as always. She talks a lot like me and didn't concentrate on the gravel but she's fine um so it's gonna be really hard to maintain heart rate anyway on this little trek because it's about 25 26 degrees i think um yeah i probably haven't drunk enough today but anyway the last week i've done two weeks of math training as you know if you've been following along and i did two consistent weeks of over 20 miles just crept up the mileage each week maybe follow the path this way and um but this last week on week three i've only been out twice and i got nipple issues both times uh the second time i had to turn around and go back i was planning to do a six to eight miles um to make up for the fact that i had a busy weekend the weekend just gone uh knowing i wouldn't be able to do a, lo a very long run um but it started to rain and my waterproof supposedly jacket got stuck to me oh hang on dead end where are we don't fall <laughs> we're a bit lost as well 
what was I saying? Oh yeah, so my waterproof jacket that wasn't waterproof, I discovered, stuck to me. And after, I told you it'd be fine. After three miles, I'm starting to get the old nipple rubbage again. So I called it short. And then we had Simon's um, Ironman challenge, indoor triathlon, world record. Well done, Simon. It was absolutely amazing day on Saturday. We were there all day. I was there from just after 6 a.m. till about 5 p.m. I uh, posted a video today, actually. It's funny when this one comes out. It's a few days ago, but check it out. It's 35 minutes, but it's well worth a watch, in my opinion. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to say that because I recorded it. But um, such a good day. Such a great guy, Simon. Raised over £7,000 for charity. I haven't got my external mic on, so apologies. This wind might make this a bit bad. Uh, but Simon, amazing. Broke the world record that's stood since 2012 by over seven minutes, just over seven minutes. So he didn't just break it, he set an amazing new world record. It's so cool to have been part of someone breaking a Guinness world record for something that is a real, you know, human effort, uh, regardless of whether it's indoors or outdoors, exercising permanently, rowing, running, and riding for that amount of time and distance. It's just a superhuman effort, so amazing, Simon. It's so good. So thank you again, Simon, if you watch this, um, for letting me be part of it and for letting me post a video on my YouTube channel. Absolutely phenomenal. So. Um, yeah, I didn't manage to do any training at the weekend though, but I don't care because that was the best thing ever. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try and make up for it this week. I'm not going to go crazy though, I'm just going to do try and do 20 miles again this week, nothing major. We seem to be a bit lost, Evie. We are. <laughs> taking me on grass. We seem to be very lost. Oh. I was trying to do a riverside run, but we don't know where we're going. And because we've been out on the boat in one direction, I said, let's go in the other direction. And now we're out by a main road. Um, and I haven't run at all. Oh, I paused the watch, I should have left that on. Um, because walking counts anyway. Oh dear, so yeah, this week three was a bit of a mute one. Start of week four, it's Monday. Let's get something done, let's get some miles, whether it's one or two, let's get something on the map for this week. And we'll see how we do. Catch you soon. Seven minutes into the out, Evie's knackered, moaning about a butt hurting. Um, it's hot, I'm sweaty. My heart rate's up at 138, 139. I don't know what pace I'm doing, let's have a look. Oh, I am going a little bit quicker than usual, 11.20, so I can afford to slow it down a bit, I suppose. Get that heart rate back down. Oh, look at Evie, so happy to be out with her daddy. <laughs> bring, you bring the kids out to beautiful places, and that's the face you get. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing now, drama queen. I've put the uh, sweatband on. Sweat in the eyes is an issue. I look like a Wally, but who cares? What about that for review, Evie? We're going back now. So I got a cheeky little four miles in. I struggled to go um, slow enough though. I finished on 139. 139 beats per minute. 
four miles, um, 12 minute mile pace across the whole thing. I'm absolutely sweating. How are you feeling, Evie? Tired. Tired? You were cruising along on your bike? I think she deserves an ice cream now. What do you all think? Do you deserve an ice cream? Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see what the comments say before I go and buy you one. <laughs> it's going to take a while. We'll have to wait here for a couple of days before I upload it. <laughs> now, nah, I'll get an ice cream. Uh, happy running.